Let's take a look at finding the sample standard deviation um, of a set of numbers on a HP Prime graphing calculator. Now you want to be back at your application library. If you're not, uh, press your apps button to get back there. And if it's not already highlighted, you want to highlight statistics one var. So I'll down arrow to mine and press enter on it. Now we want to type in our numbers. And if you already have some numbers here, you can delete them by pressing your delete key. And I'll, I'll clean mine out. I'll just show you how to clean out a list and how to re-enter it. Now when you type in numbers, you uh, press the number and then enter. So I'll do 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. Now, um, if you're in stat a statistics course, you should uh, up arrow and double check all your numbers. And after you're uh, comfortable with your numbers, then you press your stats button here. And you have to click a column. And mine's set to three there, so you want to set choose one. And you can press one uh, to choose it. See how there's a one in front of it, or a two, three, four. I'll choose one. And now, if I um, go down... You'll see um, this one right here says uh, SX 15 point and two, the two decimal places would be 15.11. And if I left arrow over, if you're not quite sure what uh, which which one's which, uh, if you put your cursor on that, see how it says sample standard deviation of X. So that one would be our answer. And to exit out of this, you click the OK, and then you can click Apps to go back to your main menu. In this video, we took a look at how to find a sample standard deviation on HP Prime gra graphing calculator.